Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Liberate Lunations. My name is Eleonora and today we're going to touch base on the Pisces full moon that occurs on Monday, September 20th with its peak time of 4.53 p.m. and that's for Pacific Standard Time. This is a really nice full moon release for me. This moon is being ruled by Jupiter, who is retrograde in Aquarius, so we have roughly less than a month until it stations direct again. So this means all the stuff you've been revisiting through the retrograde period and that you distinguish that you don't need anymore can be thrown out the door right now. So let's get into it. Okay, first up, we're going to have Mercury in Libra is going to be squaring Pluto, who is in Capricorn retrograde, and also trining Jupiter, who is retrograde in Aquarius and who is the ruler of this lunation as well. So this transit can be good to get to the bottom of issues or things and find a solution. Um, it can also bring some intense energy when it comes to communication patterns, whether it's coming from you or coming from people around you. The good thing about this is that Mercury in Libra wants to be the mediator, right? It wants to be the person who balances everything and who calms everything down and just finds a common ground for everybody to basically be happy and compromise, but at the same time being just and fair. So if we balance all these planetary energies, we can actually identify mental and communication patterns that are detrimental and we can release them. Next up, we have Venus in Scorpio, who is going to be opposing Uranus, who is retrograde in Taurus. This transit can indicate a sudden change on and relationships and dynamics of relationships and dynamics of how we connect with other people, um, a dynamic in our values as well. It can bring a shift of perspective of what we find valuable right now, what we want to invest our time, money, and energy into as well. And it can also bring um, exciting energies your way, exciting connections, new connections, unexpected connections, unexpected situations as well that have to do with maybe your money or have to do um, with romantic partners. I'm going to pull a card for you guys. As usual, this is an energy that we can, we can find uh, grounding in, some direction, some comfort some message that we need to hear right now so for this upcoming Pisces full moon three cards popped up you guys first one being Taurus so rely on that steady stable and reliable energy um Taurus's earth fixed sign one of the most reliable and loyal signs and energies in the zodiac in my humble opinion um yeah and also uranus is in taurus right now so maybe it is about getting comfortable with not being comfortable if that makes sense especially taurus being a venus rule sign we like the comfort we like to be pampered we like to have our stuff but right now is a time of change and especially full moon is a time of release so Maybe the things that are destabilizing you, which is a good keyword for Uranus and Taurus, is literally destabilizing. Um, maybe those are the things that you don't need anymore. Maybe those are the things that you should be revisiting and being like, hmm, is this really good for me? Maybe not. We have the last quarter moon, which is basically, obviously, the last quarter until we reach the new moon period again so still a lot of releasing cleaning out the last things that are in there just to make room for a new lunar cycle new intentions which is like that's what you do in a full moon you literally clean house so whatever you're doing keep doing it the last one is eris I do not work with asteroids other than Chiron. So we're gonna see what the little booklet has to say about Eris. Great, okay, so in a reading, when it comes out, it indicates our subconscious desires about what we are looking for in a mate. 
if you're unattached, his appearance can signal that you are ready for commitment and need to get in touch with the attributes you want in a partner. If you're in a relationship, you may need to make more time for your partner and reconnect on a spiritual and sexual level. Alternatively, Eros asks us to look deep inside ourselves and find our passion. It could be romantic love, it could be healthcare, it could be sports, anything. What matters is that it lights your soul on fire. This asteroid wants us to realize our dreams as they are what keeps us going. I love that. Wow. Maybe I'm going to have to start working with him. Um, anyway, I mean, I think that was pretty self-explanatory. I don't know what... Um, I don't have anything else to add. All right, Crystal, to recommend this time around, Labradorite. Labradorite is a great stone for healing and doing inner work, um, especially if we want to leave negative patterns behind, which is a great thing to do during this lunation. For events to recommend, we have a beautiful full moon in Pisces women's circle that comes with moonology it comes with a little bit of therapy a little bit of sound therapy you get bath salts as well with this workshop it is for women only um that is going to be on the day of the full moon monday september 20th it's going to be at 6 30 p.m and there's limited space so i would snag your ticket as soon as possible if you're not a woman or you're not interested in coming to the full moon circle, or you can't make it, we do have a breath work and meditation for a manifestation the day after the full moon, um, which is Tuesday, September 21st at 7 p.m. That's with Raquel, and that's both in person or a Sherman Oaks location and live stream. So if you can't make it physically, or you can't make it at that time, you can also sign up for our live stream, and we'll send you the replay after the class is over. All right, you guys. That is it for this full moon in Pisces. Beautiful release. Focus on yourself, your relationships, your passions, your desires. Um, let me know how you feel below. Let me know where this moon is hitting your chart. If you want to get a reading, I'm available for readings finally through Liberate. So you can visit our website and check out um, yours truly and the other plethora of beautiful, amazing, and super talented practitioners that we have on our roster. But other than that, I leave you to it. I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're living your best life. Love you. Sending you much, much love. Many, many blessings. Very happy full moon. that helps uh, treat the person on all levels of their life, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, etherically, which is energetically and physically. I'm energy, this chair is energy. Everything around us is energy. Uh, when we you receive an energy healing session, it's a transmission of life force. There are a lot of techniques that we can use to balance the energy field. Uh, regardless of the practitioner, there are certain ways in which each of us can connect to and help the client um, rebalance whatever it is that's going on in their energy field that is creating dis-ease or discomfort in their lives. We work with you both in person and remote. Energy healing is good for everything. So you can use it to manifest something, you can use it to uh, treat a, an ailment, whether it's something physical, mental, emotional. And we cleanse your chakras, balance you, clear out stress, physical issues, worry, fear, trauma, anxiety. Release cords, release things in your life or in your body temple that are keeping you from moving forward. I normally suggest that people get energy healing whenever they feel that they need it. A healing energy work should be done on a regular basis, like taking a shower. If you're watching this and it crosses your mind, hmm, out of curiosity, get a healing. You're being called to it, 